Hi guys. Okay, so today we are going to take a look and see if we can figure out who your secret admirer is. Okay, so we have group one, group two, and group three. We're also going to um, do blocks, so I pull the block, so whatever number it adds up to will be the major arcana card. Okay, and then we'll also pull charms as well. Okay, so go ahead and make your selection. You can go ahead and pause it if you need to, if you need time to really figure out which one calls out to you. Okay, and we'll get started with group one. Hi, group one. Okay, so let's see what we have. So, we have a zero. Okay, so the zero is the Fool card. So this is, um, usually it just means a leap of faith, something um, that you're going towards. So maybe this person has considered at least taking this leap of faith. I don't think that this means that your person is a fool, okay? Um, I think it means this person is considering telling you that they secretly admire you. Okay, let's get the tarot. Well, what kind of tarot. <laughs> okay. Okay, we have the magician. And then the daughter of pentacles. Okay. Interesting. So I feel like this is your person, the person that is secretly admiring you. And also, it's interesting that this cheetah is looking at what I would assume would be cheetah's prey. A new, newly born, it's not quite newborn, but a juvenile deer. Okay, so they definitely have their eye on you for sure. And you have a rainbow over you. It's just like, oh, look at this shiny thing, which is you. And yeah, so this makes sense. So this is your person. They have the full card. So it seems like they're getting ready. They have all the ingredients here. They've been manifesting this for a while. They've probably been manifesting the courage to maybe take this leap of faith. Maybe they've been kind of watching you. I mean, they are definitely watching you. You know, gathering info. <laughs> All right, what do we want next? Okay, let's see. Okay, so we have sunglasses. Oh, watching, looking, stalking, okay. I don't think really stalking. It's not really, I mean, he's not about to attack, but um, this cheetah here is definitely watching. Okay, so the dragonfly is next and it says, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light. Okay. Mm hmm. So, and again, we have sunglasses, so it's kind of like you're in the dark, right? Someone's been watching. They know what's up. But it's a secret to you. And may, so you're going to find out. I mean, if they take the sleep of faith and tell you, then this is going to be that situation. Then we have the runner. Okay, so it says runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. So I'm not necessarily feeling too much negativity, but that might be why they are secretly admiring you and not telling you. It could be for a while they've been watching you. So maybe they do have a fear of intimacy or... Something has been stopping them from telling you. Okay. Okay. A 
fiery climax approaches. Okay. So, right, like, so in a story, in a book, a movie, um, it's usually kind of boring at first. Usually someone doesn't know about something. And then, boom, the climax, you know? The leap of faith. Uh, this person could be an Aries. And again, just take it at face value as well. So this person could be a runner. They could run, they could jog. And they could wear sunglasses. Often, you know. Okay, okay. Um, and that also could be a time frame as well. So the full moon in Aries, when that is approaching, kind of keep your eye on it and see if that, you know, resonates with you. Okay, so we have look for a sign and in the near future. Okay, so that makes sense. So they haven't made the leap yet. They're thinking about it. It does seem like it is promising that it is. They are going to come forward and kind of soon. So um, it's just advising you to maybe just keep your eye out for a sign See if you can maybe spot this person and you can clue yourself in on who is watching you. So let's see if we can get some clues on who this person is. So this might help. Okay, so they go by a nickname. Has an unusual hair feature. Okay, so that could mean just something that stands out to you. Maybe they have like a gray streak or, you know, they dye a streak of their hair or they spike it. You know, I don't know. Anything that just is out of the ordinary. Okay. Wears more than two rings frequently. All right. So if they frequently wear two or more rings, Oh, it says more than two, so I guess three or more. I don't know. Okay, so those are all clues to help you to look for the signs. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see. What do we see here? Okay, so right off the bat, I'm seeing this apartment building or this, um, some sort of like, you know, official looking building. Maybe they work in an, a building, an office setting. Maybe they live in an apartment. They could be, um, musically talented. And then this tells me, um, they're calm. They have a good sense of temperament. Okay, and then, and this one is telling me, so, it's like a heavy load, right? Either coming or going. So take it how that means for you, because, are there letters on this boat? like a C and an I. C and an I is on that boat there. Um, yeah, and even like, so look at this statue on his head. Although it's, you know, it's like a sign of divination or enlightenment or a god-like, you know, status. Um, usually that's what it depicts. But if you look at it just technically, it's an actual weight of the world on the statue's head, on his shoulders. So it's some sort of heavy load, that's what I'm feeling like. But it looks like it's departing, okay? So this heavy load is leaving. So again, that kind of reminds me of like this leap of faith. So maybe this is kind of like really bothering this person. And they just like have to get it off their chest. So they could make songs, they could be in an orchestra, they could play the guitar, some sort of stringed instrument maybe, 
it doesn't have to be. They could listen to a lot of classical music or go to a lot of um, concerts like that. And they are, they both have water as well, so maybe they are inclined to the water. Maybe they have, you know, maybe they are um, a captain of a boat. Maybe they have a boat. Maybe they fish a lot. We do have like a pond and the ocean or some sort of bay there. They could live near the ocean in an apartment. So. Okay. Interesting that we also have like night and day. It's a very drastic change. These are like stars up here. So it could be a big change. So again, the leap of faith. So, you know, everything's okay, but it's the difference of night and day of this person taking a leap of faith and telling you. Okay. This cup really likes to come out this week. I swear, it's come out a lot. Alrighty. Okay, so first of all, we have an eye, it looks like, and that's it for letters. Yeah. Okay, so I, so their first or last name could begin with I, or they live somewhere that begins with an I, something like that. Okay. Um... Right off the bat, I see two sport, you know, activity, outdoor activity type charms. And um, if not, I just like, I always group things together. So, but if not, they are active. Um, if they do live near water, you know, they probably do like nature. They go out. And also, it could just mean that they are coming forward. The, you know, it's coming forward towards you. They're on the move. It's kind of like the chariot card. Okay. We have the leaf. Let's see what else. We have the sewing machine. The lone wolf. Okay, and this inside. Okay, so the leaf tells me that um, things are changing, right? It's fall, so it's the changing of the leaves. So it could mean a change, just in general. Also, you know, just anything maybe, again, outdoorsy. You know, they like to hike or something, ride their bike through the woods, or um, they could be a gardener. Okay, and then we have this, which to me is like a manifesting type charm, the sewing machine, um, because you're creating something, so either that or they are creative, or they are in the fashion industry, something like that. They could make their own clothes. Okay, and then the lone wolf, and it doesn't have to be the lone wolf, but that's kind of what I see, but it's also howling, so it's like calling out, right? So, it could be howling and calling out to his partner, which is to you. Because like I said, it was kind of like he's the magician, right? I say he because the magician is a he, but it could be, you know, either way. Um, it's like the magician is really trying to get this courage. And it's interesting that this is also like, you know, a very powerful animal. And, you know, wolves are fraught with superstition and magic and things like that. So I do feel like this person is trying to get, they want, they want to, they want to settle down. They want to tell you that they like you and would want to try that with you. Um, I think they're just getting, they have to find their, their feet in this. 
but it, it is coming, I feel like. Okay, we also have the um, little clothespin. So, um, yeah, they just, they, they have attached themselves to you. They do admire you. They've chosen you and they've, they can't stop watching you really. They're kind of fascinated by you. Hey, this tells me, my little teddy bear, that they could be a cuddler. They could really like to cuddle. And, um, and just, you know, comforting in general. They could be soft-spoken, something like that. Um, my little elephant guy tells me that someone isn't seeing something clearly. Hmm. And we did have the sunglasses, remember? So maybe, because it's a pink elephant, so it kind of reminds me of like seeing everything through rose-colored glasses or something. So like you're just not, you're seeing something through a filter. So maybe this person is kind of convincing themselves that they're not worth it or something. But because they are your secret admirer, like I said, you know, they, something is stopping them. But okay, so we have the, my Toto charm. And that tells me that something is going to be revealed. And it's not as serious as this person probably thinks it's going to be, because you'll probably receive it well. You most likely will like this person back. And then um, this cup was inside. So, and this is my charm for the Ace of Cups, really. So an offer... And it's an emotional offer, so it's normally someone revealing some, how they feel about you, something like that, getting something off their chest that's emotionally burdening them, something like that. Offering help if you feel burdened, you know. So maybe some sort of, yeah, so I mean that does go along because if they are going to open up to you, offer you this cup, it would be revealing their secret, so that does make sense. It's almost like in a saucer. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, so... That's what I have. Yeah, we do... I think we got a lot, though. They go by a nickname. Their hair. Remember, they have a hair feature. And the rings. They wear rings. And yeah, they just really, I think, just need time. Because they really do see you as this perfect little fawn. Yeah, with a rainbow and everything, so it's promising. They, I think they just don't want to mess it up. So I hope that this kind of helped you. Like, maybe that they are into hockey. That's really what I'm feeling, so it's somebody that... And we also did get, like, the pond, so, you know, outdoor ice hockey. Okay, and then, yeah, with the manifesting, so they are trying. They really are. I feel like they are going to come forward. And, again, we had the in the near future. So I would just look for the signs. Maybe, you know, that will help you figure out who it is and... Either avoid disaster, or you could move it along a little bit if you can figure out who it is and you do like that person. Okay, so I wish you guys luck. Um, I hope that that resonated with you. Um, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I do do my contest for every 100 new subscribers. I do the top five questions that you guys want me to do. All right, so that sounds fun, right? So if you haven't subscribed, do that and uh, join in on the fun. And um, with that, I hope you guys take care and have a good night. Hi, group two. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, so first of all, we have the four. Okay, so that's the emperor. Okay, so this person um, is really on top of their game, okay? Um, a lot of people look up to them. They could be a fatherly figure. Um, they could be a father. 
Yeah, someone that is well respected, someone that really um, is in tune with who they are. They really know who they are. They know what they like and they don't like. They work hard. They don't take a lot of crap from people. And a lot of people don't even bother giving them crap because they are the emperor, okay? So they just kind of ooze success, um, confidence, most likely good at business. Okay. Okay, so we have the hermit. And the Son of Cups. So, okay, so this person who's admiring you is definitely keeping their shell. Um, they're, they're clearly afraid. So although they're the Emperor, you must terrify them. I don't know. Either that or... They just know they have some more work to do in order for them to like be ready for you. So in the meantime, they're just going to keep their eye on you. Because he's watching, right? This little turtle guy is watching. He's nice and protected, but he's watching. And he's got his little lamp on. So he's cozy. He's, he's hunkered in. Um... He's really just watching right now, okay? I feel like this could possibly be you. And, um... It's like you might even have an idea of who this person is, okay? Because for some reason, although this swan is looking this way, I feel like the swan is kind of keeping their eye on this turtle as well. And like in this cup, we have an explosion of color, but it's contained, okay? It hasn't spilled anywhere. It's in the cup. So it might kind of be an unsaid kind of admiration between the both of you. And that might have actually put a giant halt on the situation because now both of you are kind of frozen. Because this swan isn't in movement, okay? That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like it's kind of like a standoff. Let's see what else we have. Okay, so the mask, the hammer, and I like you. Okay. Okay, so... Not showing true feelings, hiding, personify, pretending, okay. It might be both of you though. I'm feeling there's two masks, okay? So it's not just one. I think both of you are pretending that you don't know the other one likes you and that you also don't like them, but I don't know, I'm not really sure. Okay, so next we have Hammer. So this just off the bat tells me that they're doing work, okay? So they are in their home, in their shell. So although they are watching, I feel like they are doing some inner work. Probably trying to build the courage, you know, building something, which a hammer you build with. So they could be building their confidence. Okay, and it says working on it in there. So I feel like they are. They definitely like you. And we have I like you, okay? So someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Want to date, okay? And again, this could be mutual. Because again, we have I like you written here. Then we have I like you for the actual picture as well. Which it could have been a picture, but they chose the words. So there's two I like you's, as if someone's saying it and someone's saying it back. So I'm really feeling like, yeah, you both like each other. So this is someone 
that you could be thinking of or you're hoping that they secretly like you as well. And I'm pretty sure that they do. Okay. Nothing is yet set in stone. Mmm. Yeah. Because again, neither of you have said anything, right? It's like you both know there's like an ebb and flow, but but you, neither of you have said it. Nothing is yet set in stone. Yeah, neither of you have actually even maybe admitted it. If not, at least you guys have not spoken these words to each other. Okay. Get more information. Okay, okay. A year from now. Whoa. Okay, so this person is in the hermit mode. Okay, so they might actually have some actual work to do with, within themselves. And they're working at it, alright? So a year from now, this could be, I mean, it's looking like this picture is a whole happy family, okay? So, and it doesn't mean, oh, you're going to have complete silence for a year, but maybe that's when it becomes official. But it's saying get more information. So maybe both of you are still getting more information on each other, on yourselves. All right. Okay, so met you more than one year ago. So yeah, so this is someone you do know of. And you possibly have been gaining feelings over that time. Okay, so it's someone that you haven't met within this year. So if the person you're thinking of, you met them a couple years ago or something like that, then this could be validation for you. Okay, so they have been extremely hurt by a loved one in the past. So this could be why they're in hermit mode. Why they're kind of pretending they don't, because they could be actually really scared to get hurt again. Not just hurt, but extremely hurt. So that's it's pretty bad. So yeah, they might need time to heal, but not that long, you know, a year from now, they'll be back to, back to being great. Okay, that could be even more of a reason, has lost a loved one within the last year. So, okay. Maybe this person wants to come forward, but they maybe they even just feel like, I'm a complete mess. I wish I had this person to comfort me, but that's not fair to this person. I need to fix myself a little bit and heal a little bit and come around later and hopefully they're still around, you know? That's what I'm feeling like. So this person, although they do want to be with you, they admire you. I mean, they like you a lot. We even got the card that says I like you, you know? That's pretty clear. Yeah, I feel like they just really have had a lot of misfortune in their recent past that they really have to work through. Oh, you poor, poor person. That stinks. Oh, lordy. Okay, so this one says this may take a while. So, we do have the year from now, so that, that makes sense. And it's the thinker, you know, that... What is... Is that what it's called? Um... So, yeah, they're really trying to do the work so that they're not a hot mess for their next relationship, you know what I mean? They're really trying to heal and heal correctly before they bring their mess on to somebody else and it like prolongs that situation and everything like I feel like they just want to get through the process and really be okay 
And it's interesting that they're both very similar picture, like the background. So it's both galaxies. Um, this looks like it might be the Milky Way here. And, oh my gosh. And there's trees down here and trees down there too. They're just like bigger trees, smaller trees. Okay. And again, we have the shell here. So the thinker is, I don't know if that's what it's called, is sitting on a shell. Okay, so we have the turtle in the shell. So yeah, but they're trying to come out of it. See that? They're trying to come out of their shell. It's just going to take a while. That's all. It's just going to take a little bit. But I like this following card, okay? So this, it's almost like a depiction of magic, you know? It's got the key up here. And then in the opposite corner, there's the um, Aladdin's lamp, you know, the magic lamp. So this is wishes, okay? And then this is the key to the wish. So this could be this per your person's wish, and they will unlock it, okay? Just, just give them a little bit of time. Okay, let's get some charms. can't be too great. So we have the sick guy. So yeah, it's, um, it's telling me to just, maybe your person is actually sick right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's like a warning, right? It's a warning sign. So it could be like toxic. That's what I also get too. So like they could be in a toxic place right now only because they were dealt those bad blows. So they really are trying to like detox and and get healthy again, but I feel like this is where they're at right now. So that does make sense. I know it's like an icky picture, but that does make sense to me. Cause they're just they're that's in that's where they're mentally situated right now. And but they're aware of it, which is why they're not coming forward. So they like know that they're stuck. So they like you and they're watching you and everything, but they can't come forward just yet. We have a lot of letters. It's crazy. Like I try not to get, I try to get a little bit of everything and it just, just doesn't work. Okay. We have an L, a B, an S, a Y, and another B. So Libby, maybe, Lobby, Bobby even, Baby, okay, Sybil, all right, well, we get the idea. Okay. Let's see, so we have the Cupid. So this does tell me that this person does genuinely like you, that they may or may not have been struck by Cupid's bow for you. And that kind of really stinks because they're not in a good place. But they can't help it if they meet you or become attracted to you just because they're in a bad place, you know? But they are secretly admiring you. And maybe because they like you, maybe that'll help fuel them healing you know, and going through that process, maybe a little faster, you know. And last but not least, we have the little warning sign. So, okay, again, so it's like a, a weight token. So, yeah, it's telling me that you're just going to have to wait. How strange. How strange that that all works that way. Um... Yeah, so it's like, although they 
care about you. They know they have to wait because they're in that position now. So take a look at these. I hope that helps you guys, these letters here. You know, they could be um, different initials. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys. I hope that that helped. Um, so yeah, just give them a little bit of time. And it doesn't mean that you have to sit around twiddling your thumbs for an entire year, you know. Just know that this person does admire you and they are very determined. They have a lot of passion for you. But they do have the self-integrity to not bring that upon you. Oh, yeah. And this also spells out pounds, so it's just like a heavy weight, remember? Like a heavy load. It's like a, yeah, some sort of toxic place they're in just because of losing a loved one and being extremely hurt by a loved one as well. Okay, and then what was their other clue? Oh, met you more than a year ago, so I hope that this helps and validates if you were thinking of someone because I feel like this is a bit mutual because remember we have this little swan here and I feel like that's you and you're watching you're watching that turtle as well that hermit so you have your eye on them as well okay so I hope that helped um, if not like always you can check out other videos Hopefully some call out to you. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me a whole bunch. So thank you in advance. And I um, hope you guys take care of yourselves. And have a good night. Bye, group three. Okay, let's find out what our major arcana for the day Alrighty, so the one, so we have the magician. Ooh, so this person admiring you could be actually trying to attract you through the law of attraction, you know, through entanglement, spiritual work. They're really trying to manifest you, I think. Because they are really, mmm tinkering with their ingredients and trying to figure out how to get you. That's what I'm feeling. Okay. Let's see what these have to say. Whoa, two snakes. Okay. Interesting. And they both have wands. We have the father of wands and the daughter of wands. Oh, man, this person is totally manifesting you. And this one even has a lightning bolt of power. Whoa. And this one has a blooming, like, cherry blossoms, looks like, maybe. So they're, they've been at this for a while, to the point where the wand is now growing things. Okay? Man, they've known about you, and they've been watching you for a while. And it looks like they are alert. They've been watching, okay? They're pretty protective about this. They know that they want you, I think. And this has been for a minute, I believe. And again, now this is even wrapped around the entire wand, okay? So they know for sure that they like this could be like wow this person is crushing on you like a monster truck okay oh yeah oh yeah what else do we have okay whoa twin flames okay interesting interesting so this person could be um first of all a fire sign for sure so, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. <sighs> okay, so, Twin Flames. I feel like this is how this person feels about you, for sure. 
Interesting that we have two snakes, so it's like twinsies, right? And, um, yeah, so this person is, is a good match for you, okay? So it's really like a good union. It's, um, you guys like bounce off of each other. What do we have? We have yin-yang, zen balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. Okay, so, yeah, you definitely complement each other. You definitely, um, you would. I think this person knows that. Okay, next we have healthy choices. So this person could be a vegetarian or just really actually watch what they eat, which is always good. They could possibly end up helping you if you guys end up getting together. And it does seem like because they're so protective that they are probably very protective of themselves, their own health. They really love themselves. And then we have talking. So interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text call, email, hovering. Okay. So this person really wants to talk to you. I feel like they're trying to make a good choice, but they really are driven by the fact that they really see something in you. Like they see that deeper bond that you guys could have. And they really want to talk to you. And they could be a talker. Either that or you guys could already be talking. You guys could be friends. And they secretly like you. Okay, they also could own a snake. That could be a clue, because we have two snakes there. Okay, so hold your vision. Okay, I feel like that's talking about your person. I feel like your person is really holding this vision. Because again, I said they were very protective of this. They know. It's like they saw you, they met you, and they were just like, that's the one. And they just can't get you out of their head. So this could, I don't feel like it's very new. I feel like this could have been going on for a while. You know, at least a couple months where they've really been hardcore crushing on you. Like a lot, a lot. Because they're steady at this. They're really steady holding their vision. Okay, so we have not the right time. So, for some reason, this person does know it's not the right time. Maybe they are doing, they're in the middle of something that they need to be done with first. Um, finish up some sort of past energy, something like that. Um, but I don't think they're, they're leaving anytime soon. Um, I feel like they're holding this vision. They're going to keep holding this vision of you guys together. But something, and it could be even they are aware that you might not be ready exactly right now for them. Whatever that could be that you're in the middle of as well. And ask your angels. Okay. So this person, yeah, I feel like they've been asking their angels. They've been manifesting. They've been um, doing that light work you know, the manifesting work to um, really tap into that magnetic field that really um, keep you holding this vision as well, maybe, or keep keep that, um, you know, like that quantum entanglement, you know, like that thread that you feel when you're attached to somebody, to like keep that holding on. I feel like that's what they, it's like they know it's not the right time, but they're doing the work to like, keep keep them in in your forefront as well to really keep it as a possibility open to the universe if that makes sense you know like keep throwing that idea out to the universe so that that avenue stays open because they know it's not quite ready but they feel it coming or something so they're really staying strong about it
Yeah. Okay. All right, so we have your first kiss will be within one year from now. So within this year, this secret admirer of yours might be what you're looking for, and you guys end up kissing and getting together within the next year. All right, they will be the one to ask you out. Okay, that's always good to know, right? Takes a lot of pressure off. Okay, and then a good clue for you to keep your eye out on is they wear three red items frequently. So it could be a uniform, it could be um, a favorite helmet they wear with their gloves, you know, it could be uh, just really a lot of different things. A watch with their red shoelaces, um, yeah, just keep your eye out. And you know, if it's, if this is, um, if you're watching for, um, you know, the other gender, I was just weird because it was like, they're rubies, so maybe they could wear rubies. Because I was going to say like red lipstick with, you know, red earrings, something like that. Um, yeah, there's lots of different things. Okay, so keep your eye out for that. And last two. Okay, so first of all, so we have Hello Neighbor. <laughs> and we did have talking, so that's communicating, saying hi, breaking the ice, you know. And we have fruits and vegetables. How interesting, because we had healthy choices. So this person might be vegetarian or of the like, you know, very health conscious. They could be a doctor. They could be a nutritionalist. Because we did have talking, so they could be some sort of nutritionalist where they are like a life coach where they're really trying to help people. Something like that. Okay. And then we have, so this one's interesting. So it's like part of a tiger. So it's like camouflage, okay? That's what I'm feeling like, because it does match these flowers. And then we have a similar color. So it's all like the same color um, of a butterfly. So we have blooming, we have camouflage. And changing, you know, this is like a sign of evolution, right? And then we have the butterfly, which is actual change, which is transformation. So this is just all really telling me like a change, transformation. So, yeah, I feel like this person is kind of going through a little revolution in their own mind, okay? A little self um, makeover, okay? But they really are, and I feel like they're doing the magician work on themselves as well, not only on you and trying to draw you in. I think they're just really trying to get that life that they vision, and you're a part of that, so I feel like they're really just trying to get all the help they can from their angels, making healthy choices, finding the balance in life to really draw in the good karma and and speed this up so that they, before the avenue, you know, that space that they've made for the universe to allow this to happen, they're afraid it's going to close up, okay? But yeah, so this um, specifically could help you because that is like a physical trait that you could keep your eye out for. Okay.
Okay, so first of all, we have the really heavy ball of metal. So this is like my wrecking ball. Um, it could also just stand for weight, just actual weight, okay? So this person is feeling a bit burdened by whatever it is that's making it not the right time, okay? So, but I feel like they're really trying. They really, really are. So they're trying to get this off their shoulders. Or maybe, you know, they're wishing and trying to get ready to come in like a wrecking ball. Okay, so we have an L, an I, and an E. Oh dear, so that spells lie. Interesting. Um, take that how you want to. This could be a person that you have a history with. Because I did find it a little strange that they were both snakes, remember? So maybe you see this person as kind of a snake? Maybe you caught them in a lie a while ago or in a some sort of situation that you were in with them? And maybe they that's why they know it's not the right time. Maybe they know they totally messed up. And that's why it's taking a while. And they're trying to make those health, healthy choices and to transform. Because they know what they did and it was wrong. Oh, wow. And then we also have the butterfly here as well. Okay, so, yeah, this person is trying. They really are. They know they messed up. That makes sense. Because this makes sense. Because I was like, where is the weight coming from? But that makes sense. I think they know that you might have caught them in a lie. And they know they totally messed up because they completely admire you and now they can't tell you that. Oh wow, this has totally took a way different turn. So that's why I love charms and doing different stuff because like sometimes, man, it just makes a lot of sense. <gasps> what is this? Okay, so this is dynamite. Okay, this is like an explosion. And again, we have the wrecking ball. Okay, so maybe this person might catch you off guard. Maybe this person you haven't seen in a while. Maybe you just thought they were gone forever and you're over it. And they have been secretly admiring you this whole time. Doing all of this work because you honestly like impacted them or something. Or this situation. And they are really turning it around. Okay. Wow, okay, so we have another manifesting charm. We got this on the last group, I think. So they're really manifesting this. They're really doing a lot of work. They are creating something. They are really trying. It's like they took themselves apart and put themselves back together. We also have the perfume, okay? So this is preparing. This is getting prepared for something. This is doing the last minute touches, the polishing. Mm, okay, wow. And then we have the welcoming girl. So that is like my Hawaiian aloha girl there. Um, maybe that's what, okay, because we have the manifesting, the perfume, the preparing. They're preparing to, like, be welcomed by you. I feel like they think it's might, it might end up explosive. It might end up in a fight. Oh, man, yeah. We also have um, a pie. It looks like pie, at least. I don't think it's cake. Yeah, that's pie. <sighs> so... I think they're hoping for a sweet end. I really do. I hope. I think they're hoping for a welcome and then a sweet ending to it. They have done all this work. I think that is what's driving them to do all this work, is this hope. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. So, yeah, this person's done a lot of work, okay? To be 
worthy again of you. I think they realized that they totally messed it up. They broke it off because they're, they made a mistake. They've been trying to mend it, okay? And get prepared to maybe come back to you and hopefully be accepted by you again and you guys can try again. But this has been um, going on for a long time, I feel like. Long enough where they have actually transformed at this point, or they are almost done transforming, and they are about to, I mean, come and tell you this. Alright, so that's super exciting, you guys. Um, I mean, I hope that you want this person to be coming. Um, I feel like... They are really trying. I'm really getting the energy. They are not a bad person. Um, it's almost like they've embraced it, right? They've embraced the fact that they know they made a mistake and that you might see them as the snake. And instead of like wallowing or staying a snake, they've they've been really trying to find that power in them to make you see them in a different way, the way that they really truly think that they are, you know, and that they they know they made a mistake, they're not shying away from it, they've embraced that, that fact that they made a mistake so that they can fix it. So this person really is not so bad, okay? I mean, you know, I don't take my word for it. I don't know them, but this is for whoever is resonating the most with this. Um, I'm really feeling like you would know too, deep down, you know, you're going to know, oh yeah, I know they just lied. And I don't know why I took it so terrible, you know, or I was a little over dramatic about it now that I look back or something, you know, um, but it was meant to happen because look what it did. It changed this person to be so much better. So yeah, I hope that this helped you guys. Um, if not, you know, I always say just check on other videos, see if any of those call out to you as well. Um, they are timeless, so um, check those out. And um, yeah, thank you for watching, and like, comment, subscribe, and hope you guys have a good night, and take care of yourselves. I said that backwards, didn't I? Yes, I did. <laughs>